All right, so I did this gig like a couple of months ago. And when I first got to the gig, the first person I see is the drummer. So um, when we take these gigs, we get this, we have this app called Schedule Head and, uh, and it gives you all the information uh, like who's all playing on the gig and you know, what time to be there, sound check, blah, blah, blah. You know, gives you all the details, everything that's going on. So I meet the drummer and the drummer, I go by the name that I saw in the schedule head. But uh, when I, when I said his name, said the name that's in schedule head, he said, oh no, I'm, I'm subbing in for that guy. I said, oh, okay, cool. So fast forward, we get the sound check. So, um, Right before we, we start warming up, you know, get ready to run over songs for sound check. The bass player um, the introduced himself to the drummer. And uh, then he, the bass player comes up to me because we play quite a bit. Uh, we played on many gigs with, within the company and uh, gigs outside the company. So we, you know, we were well aware with most people, you know, in the area that plays gigs or whatever. So, but we never, neither one of us have met this, met or seen this drummer before. So he asked me, he said, hey man, you know anything about this drummer? Cause we already know as far as, um, far as playing with the band, the drummer, bass player, keyboard player, it's like the rhythm section. Uh, that usually, uh, that's, that usually lets band members know how the night is going to be if either one of those are not really good. So he asked me, he said, um, do you know anything about this drummer? I told him, I'm going to find out what's going to happen as you are. So went through sound check and sound check was uh, really sketchy. So like, oh, okay. Mm. This is going to be an interesting night. Okay, so anyway, Fast forward, so we start out with the dinner set, which is a lot of ballads, jazz, um, just chill music, uh, which is called dinners. People just have some dinner, you know, just music for them to, you know, just and talk to, you know. And then we'll later, you know, pick it up with the dance music. So during the music, there's a song that we did that was a ballad. It's called Crazy by, is it? I forgot the name of the the, the artist, but the song is called Crazy, uh, and it's a ballad. So everything is with tracks. So basically, when the track started, oh, that was another thing. That song wasn't on the list. It was a song that got switched out. So um, I called. I I always call the songs and the talk back to the band uh, when when we go to the songs regardless if it's on the list or not just so if there is a switch up they know okay we're not doing this song we're gonna do a different song so i called a song um and we started playing it uh the drums dropped out but the drums dropped out because i guess the drummer he kind of freaked out and he was like uh he didn't know the song the, the bass player like hey man what, what you doing you gotta you gotta play he like, man i don't know the song he like dude you gotta play something i mean it's just a ballad it wasn't nothing you know it wasn't nothing up tempo with a bunch of hits and breaks in it, it just you know playing ballads is on the most part just simple just playing a ballad groove or whatever so we knew after that this is going to be a rough night and of course it was because when we got to the par party stuff it was quite a bit of songs that had certain uh transitions and medleys and all of that and yeah it was a rough night so once again musicians drummers um if you like kind of at a beginning stage or not too experienced know what gigs to take and not to take because that may um cause you to get other work so word of advice peace